Now let's talk about how to use this brand new reformulated mascara. Now one little crazy little trick I have for you is you want to keep it nice and warm. So while you're putting on your other makeup, I always do all my other makeup first, and then I do my mascara at the end. I can't. I either keep it like tucked in your bra or in the waistband of your pants. So I just have it in my leggings right now. So our mascara has two different tubes here. We have a gel and then fibers. So what you always want to start with is your gel. And the nice thing about this is that the wand now inside of this tube has basically like a little curvature. So when you stick the, um, you basically stick the, uh, the one in now and it takes off all the fibers that you accidentally got on there or you got on there when you were, were applying your makeup at the beginning. So here is our new wand. It is so much better. It is really great. I just apply to the front of my lashes. You want to get a nice coat. And then I also like to do the back. And you can see it's nice and thick, and but it's not too thick that it's going to be clumpy. It just makes a, a nice statement. And now I'm doing this in my phone, so don't mind that. So that is my first step, is applying the gel. And I just make sure that all of my lashes are separated with the brush. And then it's time for your fibers. So your fibers are loose and they're dry. So let me show you. I twist out and make sure you just twist, twist, twist all the way up. And on the back of your hand, you can press down just like this. And you can see the fibers are dry. And then the fibers go on. There's so many different ways. You can go just in the very tip. You can go halfway down. You can go all the way down. It's a personal preference. I always tell you and my clients that I just go halfway then you don't get the accidental fiber inside of your eye so you're I'm just gonna take it and I like to weave so I go up and down and I go all the way to the end and then I go to the other side and if you just get a little one on accident just brush it off and then I just take my fibers and I help to just kind of wiggle them through here and you, I mean, you can see already this side versus this. So now I've got my fibers on. And I like to just wait just a few seconds. You can even go on to the other eye, but just for time's sake with the video, I'm just going to talk for a second. And then I go back and you apply your last coat of gel. So then your gel is going to help to set the fibers so they stay put and it also is going to smooth out those lashes so that you have a great, nice, long, bold lash because who doesn't want that, right? So there's the simple steps. It doesn't take very long and they're on and you can go about your day with some awesome brand new lashes. Now, just a little bit of a tip for you. You can also layer this. So if you're going out for a really fancy night or you just want really awesome lashes, you can do another coat of gel. So just I do it on the front and the backs. And this is just the same step. So I mean, why not? Why not try it, right? So you're gonna do your fibers again. I just weave back and forth here. And then I brush them up just like that. Wait a few seconds and then I can apply another coat of gel. And you can tell, I mean, just looking at the my lashes now compared to this, yeah, it makes such a huge, huge difference. But just so you know, since I'm doing this in my phone, they are not going to be perfect. If you do have ones that stick together a little bit, you can always use a lash comb, or as scary as it might sound, a little pin to separate them. But this is not clumpy. It doesn't get thick and hard. Just the perfect, nice, soft mascara to make your eyelashes 
pop. So there you go. There is our brand new reformulated 3D Plus mascara. I hope this helped.